everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my second trimester pregnancy update or recap or roundup. So I'm actually quite far into my third trimester now if you're thinking oh she looks big. Um, yes it's because I am actually in my third trimester whilst I'm filming this but as usual just haven't had loads of time to film but I thought I would sit down today and go through how my second trimester was. So I did film my first trimester, so you might want to watch that first and then you can kind of see how things developed. I also want to show you a few things that I have bought, which isn't much. Um, and even though I'm filming this later, I still haven't bought any more than this. Like genuinely, <laughs> I haven't bought much at all. Just feel really underprepared. Like the whole thing, the whole pregnancy so far has gone really, really quickly. Um, and I've got loads of things that I've got in my Amazon basket to buy and I've got a list of things and like I know what I want to get but I just I don't know I haven't got around to getting it um but I will show you the few little things that I've bought so far anyway so you can see and if you are also feeling underprepared then hopefully it'll probably make you feel better um I also want to show you something which I've been kindly sent by Love Every so I have worked with them before and they do play kits which you can get on subscription for children right from newborn up until they're four. So I have had a play kit for Arthur before um, and I have got another one actually which I will show you in a different video. Um, so they do subscription kits, yes. So um, and that, they might send you out something maybe every like two months, three months, sort of depends how old your child is and each one is specifically designed to help their developments or whatever stage they are at. The kit is designed for, which is really good, really, really good quality as well. I love it, like a lot of like wooden toys, um, open-ended play as well, which is fantastic. So yes, so I will probably talk about that even more in my next video. Sorry, I just had to close my curtains because the sun came out and it was shining right in my face. As well as that, they also do one sort of a standalone item. So we've got one for Arthur before, which was like a set of wooden blocks and bricks and also a play gym for babies. Um, although it can actually grow with them like furthermore as well. So you will see. So I have yet to set it up. So I might quickly put it together now um, and then I'll go through it with you and we can see what it looks like. But yeah, I'm really excited because I've seen it before. Uh, I've seen a lot of people with these and um, we haven't got anything like that yet for this baby. So. Yeah, let's see what it's like. So I've managed to assemble it, really didn't take that long at all actually, and I'm not particularly good with that sort of thing, but yeah, I did it. Um, so as you can see, this is it up, so I will show you a closer look in a sec. Um, but I just wanted to show you this guide that came with it. So every play kit, everything you get from Love Every, they send you something which looks like this, and it just helps you sort of think of ideas how to play with it. With your child really sort of different things you can do with it um but yeah so they as you can see they sort of say this can actually be played with until the child is a year old there's like different things you can do with it so it explains what development they will have you know the different things like with eyesight and things like that and different things that they might start becoming interested in as they get a bit older so what is really good about this is it actually can transform into sort of a den so you've got this cover here so i've got to get quite far back so you can see but yeah as you can see you can actually put that spotty fabric over and it becomes like a little den as well which i think is lovely like how sweet is that um so yeah let's take a quick look at the rest of the play mat so it's really really lovely so it's a wooden frame 
um, so it's really good quality it feels really sturdy and then you've got this really big play mat with lots of different things on it for them to explore um, so you've got all these different colored tabs here all different colors and also you can like flap them in and it just says they're exploring colors for that one learn to focus so also came with these cards so there's different like black and white because obviously when a baby is first born they can really only see in black and white so that's obviously just for them to look at that sort of high contrast and you can fit it in this flap here yes yeah, so you can just slide that in there and you've got different ones to choose from and baby can just have a look at that so this would obviously be great for tummy time as well because they can look at that or obviously they can lie on their back and they can play with these dangly things so we've got this one here which has got a bell on it and it's also got this so they can like make noises with that as well and they can hold on to that there and then there's also this lovely crinkly rustly one i remember arthur used to absolutely love like that sort of crinkly rustly toys like that and you've also got this one here and you can actually like put your finger sort of right well i mean i can put my finger through it you they can sort of really play around with that um but yeah you can actually take them off so they can hold it you know and they can tease it play with it put it in their mouth if they want to um yeah you can like actually take so you can take that that whole ball off which i think is really good as well so it's just a really versatile play gym so this flap says hiding and finding so it's got actually something you can put your hand in so that can sort of tuck in there and here is like some sort of things they can feel more of that texture so that is called making sounds this flap is called how things feel so as you can see so it's difficult for me to get to it but you've got like different sort of things which obviously feel different so you've got like that feels a bit harder you've got like ribbon another type of ribbon that's sort of less silky you've got a frilly bit of material and then that there which feels lovely and soft so yeah there's loads and loads of different things for baby to explore so this is what it looks like all set up for you so you can see the wooden frame and the dangly things hanging off it and then all those lovely flaps all the different colors and textures and sounds which are really good for a baby to explore. Sorry, that sunlight has come out again, which isn't very helpful. But anyway, hopefully you've sort of had a good look at that and you've been able to see everything. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. So I am going to take it down <laughs> now anyway. Um, and I guess we'll put it up. We can just probably leave it until baby's here because it's so quick anyway, it may as well. We had um, like an electronic one for Arthur, I think. But they can be sort of too overstimulating for a baby. Um, where, uh, yeah, I just think this is like much better. And yes, I'm really looking forward to our baby being on it. Okay, so I've just parked it there. You can just about see it. Um, so I'll just leave it there for a second. So yeah, I'll just quickly show you what else I've bought. It's really not much. And then I'll go through how my second trimester has been. So now this is really annoying because I know that I've bought more sleep suits and body suits and I was just looking for them then for this video and I can't find them and I'm thinking did I get them? I think I bought them from John Lewis but I'm thinking did they come? Did I order it? Did I forget to order it or have I lost them? Did they not turn up? I don't know. I've got a set of five sleep suits from Marks and Spencer and I bought these in the size one month. Every shop is different but these are up to £10 so I will I think this is the thing i don't know the other ones that i got i think i might have bought the smaller size obviously you don't know how big your baby's going to be even if they give you an estimate it's very rough and it actually can be quite far out my son was only he was just under seven pounds so he was very small and even the like the small body suits and sleep suits were really big on him so i do always recommend just buying like a couple of different sizes because you don't know not to three months you probably don't even need yet because they are usually quite large actually but yeah so these are up to 10 pounds um so they would fit but yeah they might be too big so i will buy a smaller size 
but like I say, that might be what I've already bought. Don't know. <laughs> I will have to check. But yeah, sleep suits and body suits. It's the next day and I've just found the John Lewis bit. It was because they were in a box and I was looking for a bag, um, but they were right there. So luckily, or thankfully, I do actually have what I thought I've got. So I just got another pack of sleep suits. So there's five in here. And again, I got the size newborn, which is, um, what does that say? Up to nine pounds. So they're slightly smaller. So the Marks and Spencer one got to 10, I think, if I remember correctly. These got to nine. So these are slightly smaller. And then I've got the same size and I've got two lots of bodysuits. So I've got six. So yeah, so I've got six bodysuits and five sleep suits there. I can't remember. I think M&S was like five and seven or something like that. So we've got that. And then in not to three months, I got these packed. I got something really similar um, for Arthur when he was a baby. So it's three bodysuits. Um, and yeah, they're just really sweet. They're white again, but they've just got these little embroidered animals. I just was thinking, I don't know if to get these in the first size because it's like, I don't know if it was a waste because if the baby is a big baby, you're not going to have that long before it reaches sort of 10 pounds, whereas these might last a bit longer. So they're not to three months is... Um, up to 12 pounds which is obviously quite big so i got those so i'm really out of breath i don't know why um and then i got this beautiful sleep suit which we did actually get for our son when he was a baby so they're still selling it and next also sell a lot of the same sleep suits and stuff and it kind of part of me wants to get it all the same but then the part of me like doesn't because obviously it's kind of like you think oh that was for that child and this is for this child anyway um but i did get this because it is lovely so sorry it's still in the plastic um but yeah just a white sleep suit um but it's got these gorgeous little um embroidered animals down the front just really really sweet so it stops there just where the legs are um yeah it's just gorgeous it's really sweet um so that was 12 pounds and it's got it's kind of like a little bit sort of pretty there but it's just really lovely um 12 pounds yeah i don't know if i regret maybe not getting that in the smaller size i still might i'm also might get a my first christmas sleep suit just in case the baby comes before christmas and i might regret not having like a christmasy sort of outfit for it i don't know um but anyway yeah so that is what i also got from john lewis and then pretty much nearly all I've got is, I have actually got hooded towels from Asda, which uh, are coming soon. But I got these from Asda, I just got some muslins, so I've got five white ones. And then I had to get these Peter Rabbit ones. They're really, really lovely. They're only £4.50. I don't think they're huge ones, I think these are all quite small. That's eight. And then I've also got another two here, which are large ones. And I also thought, again, like thinking about the black and white, the sort of contrast that they like that's why i thought these would be quite good more cream than white um but yeah so these are two big ones and they were five pounds from asda so i've got 10 muslins all together so i think that's probably going to be all i'll be buying i think i had about the same the last time as well and the other thing i wanted to show you was a breast pump that i actually got before i think i got it before i was pregnant i think because i wanted to express some milk to keep for um the breast milk jewelry so um but i haven't used it but i have like looked at it so that's why i can't really put this down but i just got the bella baby one so i had this one before i had i had like three different ones um they're all in the loft but they they don't work <laughs> so um but i guess it's probably good to get like new anyway so i mean obviously sorry it is all open obviously if i do end up using it i will be sterilize it and stuff but i thought it's probably just useful to have i had quite um well not me but we had quite difficult like a difficult breastfeeding journey like i had to pump a lot of basically exclusively exclusively for a long time like five months so um but i just thought it's probably worth having a pump just i mean i'm really really hoping that this baby can just like breastfeed um and you know i know there might be like the odd sort of challenge but nothing like as major as i had last time because it was really hard um but i thought it's just useful to maybe have this here um so that's actually what i bought which is really not much <laughs> like i said i've got hooded towels um i bought a couple of things for me like pajamas to wear um after birth and stuff like that 
but yeah I've got a lot to get and I'm also by the nightlight but like I say I've got lots of things in my Amazon basket so when I do eventually go ahead and order I will come back and maybe film that for you as well so yeah okay so let's get in to my second trimester and I'll let you know everything so I've got like a list here one thing that sort of came about uh so it's like a few like negative things and i've gone to the more positive things um was pelvic girdle pain so it just happened i think i'd just been sat on the floor playing and then i stood up and i just had this really bad like shooting pain in my sort of it's like here you know like at the base of my back like the back of my hip i suppose um your pelvis i mean yeah, it was just really bad and i couldn't even like walk and it was like you know when you make that noise like oh really like catch your breath yeah it was quite bad so i had that a couple of times and then i'd go out and be walking you know around the zoo or somewhere with my son and it was like every time i would take a step with that particular side it would just like hurt um so i've had that sort of pain it's like a weird pain as well it's, it's different to anything i've ever had before and then also had sort of a shooting pain in my actual like bum cheek which i think haven't googled it and it's more like a sciatic nerve pain which can come about because of pregnancy um so not great so yeah so i called my midwives they said you know the first thing to do would be to get a pregnancy belt which i could have shown you actually but i may try and insert a picture if i could get one um which i think it does help so you wear it for like, i think it's like two to three hours um if i'm going out somewhere and yeah i think it does it just like helps to like support your bump really um so that's good but i do still have it but it's kind of like intermittent it's not all the time but sometimes if i'm like helping arthur get dressed i think it's just like if i'm sort of half kneeling and then i go forward sometimes i get that sort of shooting pain sometimes or sometimes if i'm just out walking like i'll just feel it and then in my second trimester i also i also had twice like quite a low it was very low like right at the bottom here um right in the middle like quite a sharp pain and it lasted for like a, you know a couple of minutes don't know what it was called the midwife and she just said it's, it's maybe just like round ligament pain obviously everything's moving everything's stretching everything's loosening so it's probably just that but she said if it lasts for sort of like longer than five to ten minutes to to call them um but yeah touch wood i've not had that since so i'm not really sure exactly what that was so if you watched my first trimester video or if you haven't then you will know that sickness was a really big thing for me um and then so it definitely carried on i'm not entirely sure when it stopped i kind of want to say like midway through my second trimester so maybe when i was about 20 weeks or something a bit of sort of like a gradual thing you know but then at the very end of my second trimester i got covid um and like I've managed to avoid it all this time, <laughs> you know, all these like years that like, it's been going around and typically I get it in pregnancy. Um, so I was a bit worried, but I actually, I mean, I, it started off, I was okay. I think I had a sore throat one day, next day I was going to the zoo with my son and then I just like, I was just driving and I just didn't feel right. You know, you get a sort of like fluey feeling where you just feel a bit like achy and a bit shivery and a bit tired. And I actually pulled over twice on the way and I, I was saying to him, I, I don't I don't think, I'm not sure that I can go. I just couldn't imagine going there and it was a sunny day and I've had to put all sun cream on. Obviously it's a lot of walking. I was just like, I just didn't feel like I could do it. Um, so eventually I did turn around um, and go back home and I was quite, yeah, and it got a bit worse. And that day I had um, like a bad temp high temperature that night was awful the next day i pretty much slept the whole day and then i had a few days like that where i had like a lot of sleep i didn't feel great but then it wasn't too bad like after the first maybe two days i suppose um eventually it just felt like a bad cold but it was just the sort of tiredness really um and i guess tiredness is another sort of aspect of being pregnant i don't think i think tired my tiredness has just been the same um but yeah so i got over covid i had a post covid scan which actually was at the beginning of my like third trimester i think i was no 32 weeks actually i think it was so yeah so i had my 20 week scan so it was all good and then at the end she just sort of said oh we'll invite you back for a scan at 36 weeks because your placenta is low i was like okay i like, didn't really know what that was and then she sort of like dropped in 
I think I'm not sure if I sort of said something and then she said oh you know yeah if it doesn't move you won't be able to have a vag vaginal birth and I was I think my mouth literally went like uh, like her and I looked at my husband like her what like what well, I have to have a cesarean um I had a really positive water birth with my son I was obviously hoping to replicate that so when she said that I was a bit like Ugh. um and I said to him like you know well okay so like what do they do anything at the scan then like you know I didn't really know exactly what it meant I've not really heard about it before to be honest and she just said yeah you know obviously if it doesn't move yes you know you wouldn't be able to have a vaginal birth um but she said but you know don't worry um you know like 90 95 percent of low placentas do move by the time of birth um but yeah obviously if it doesn't then it's an issue sort of thing um and, and there's nothing you can do about it you know you can't do anything about it doctors can't do anything you can't do anything it's just if it doesn't move that's you know what you've got to do but i was really like because i just i don't know cause I, I guess i didn't even know it was like a, a thing um i was really really worried so i did actually book a private scan um it's actually at a hospital but a different trust like close-ish to me for 30 weeks um but because my post covid scan was 32 i cancelled the private one and just waited which was really hard to wait because i was like so desperate to know if it had moved or not and obviously it still might not have done but still there was a chance that it, it could move still um but thankfully yeah the 32 week scan it had moved so that's fine so i could like carry on with my like plan although i kind of like had resigned myself okay like you know i could still have a positive birth even if it's not like my ideal one um but yeah i was quite worried for a time because you know yeah okay so there's a big chance it would move but of course there is a minority of women that for them it doesn't move or you know i think it can move like sometimes it can still be low as a bit it depends how much it's covering your cervix whether you can give birth vaginally or not um yeah so that's good I mean, yeah it's also at the front my placenta but i still feel movements quite a lot um but yeah so that was a bit of a bit of a shock but the rest of the 20 week scan went really really well it feels like ages ago now i guess it is so i mentioned movements and i think i began to feel movements at 17 weeks which is quite early it's earlier than with the first pregnancy but they do say that because because it's your second or a subsequent pregnancy you felt movements before and you know what they feel like whereas before you might not notice it or you might think it's wind or something um so yeah 17 weeks which is quite nice because i was literally i think i just had a midwife appointment and or just before a midwife appointment and they asked me about movements um and it was like that day or something that i did feel it so that's good this baby is quite active i suppose i can't remember exactly obviously it's a few years ago now what movements were like in my first pregnancy but sometimes they can be quite like like even back you know back then i mean we're like quite hard like i say even though i had a placenta here which are meant to like dull your movements i still could feel it quite a lot um which is reassuring though something else which became apparent in my second trimester is the heartburn oh and i again remember this from my last pregnancy it's just horrible it's not all the time um and i haven't i don't really like taking that i'm a person that like i don't love taking like medications and stuff i try to avoid it where i can um which I, I know some people maybe would say that's silly because it's just like if you're suffering you should have it when well, you know if, if i really was then i would but it's not it's not every day um sometimes i get it in the day but it's mostly like at night time and they say like have yogurt don't they and um i think it's like is it spicy or greasy foods or both to avoid but to be honest with you, i just end up eating what i eat um and like suffer the consequences i suppose but i haven't really noticed a pattern of if i eat that i get it um but yeah so watch out for that if you are coming into your second trimester because it's because the baby is obviously growing and it's like pushing everything up um yes unfortunately you can get heartburn so then like preparation wise was kind of the last thing i was just going to talk about really um so yeah you've seen what i've bought and just in general it's just gone really fast and i think i spoke about this about this before i'm sure that because i've already got a child it's just so different this time um just much less time to think about stuff and 
to sort of things and I think I'm just busy all the time and obviously I was at work last time so I was busy but it's a different kind of busy I think and like I think like my head is busier and I'm busier just in general um so yeah I'm not getting like much time to sort of like think about it and I think that's just made it really really flown by it's slightly scary especially where I am now um yeah so it's just gone really really quickly and I do like I say feel a bit underprepared but um hopefully now that I know I've not got long left it'll give me the push to like get on with it and do things um and also I have bought the positive birth company hypnobirthing course which I did last time completely helped me I filmed my me talking about my positive birth if you're interested if you want to watch that I will leave a link below um but 100% helped me like I don't think my birth would have been the way it was like yeah it was amazing so I've done that and again probably not watching it as much as I did before and like practicing the breathing techniques and all of that because I'm busy I think like I'm busy in the day and then when my son goes to sleep sometimes I'm so tired I just fall asleep straight away um I don't always and then that's when I get the chance to do other stuff but there's just so much to do I'm trying to like cram in like buying things hypnobirthing and I don't know other stuff like all in this really like short space of time before I go to sleep and then I'm sometimes I'm just so tired I fall asleep anyway um but yeah I am trying to like practice breathing and listen to affirmations but I do need to do it more um I know that but yeah I'll definitely recommend that course if you're interested so yeah in general I'm just feeling like I say a bit like ah time's going fast but now that I know the placenta has sort of moved that's I think that sort of has really made me feel happier as well and now, now I know I can like plan the birth that I want ideally um obviously I know things change but you know what I mean um so yeah so I feel okay and just looking obviously looking forward to it but it still feels like it still feels surreal um and I know things are really going to change and I will probably always I've always got at the back of my mind worries about my son you know because obviously he's been used to all of our, of our attention um which is only normal for every child you know and he's very much looking forward to it he's still lovely like kisses my bump and talks about the baby and stuff like that so it's really lovely but you know we all know it's going to be a weird you know he's not going to be able to have all my attention like you know he can do so yeah oh and by the way he is still breastfeeding as well so I'm really really pleased about that so I've still got some milk um there for him which is great and my plan if you're wondering also I'm planning to like carry on so I will be tandem feeding hopefully so who knows I mean he doesn't feed that often it's like when he wakes up and before he goes to sleep um he is still occasionally having a nap though which is crazy because I thought you'd have dropped it by now um so yeah so we'll see how that goes because I don't because I plan to feed until he self weans so um yeah so I think that's everything <laughs> that I want to I feel like I've really like rambled but I don't want this video to be too long because I know I've like talked about a lot talked about all of that what I've bought the play kit as well um the play gym sorry so yeah I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hopefully I hope it was helpful to you if you are pregnant or if you know if you're about to come into your second trimester or you're already there you just want to like compare notes with someone or you know you kind of want to know what to expect we're all different but um some of those things you might experience so yeah i hope it was helpful thank you again to love every for sending me the play mats or the play gym i really really love it and i'm sure you will see it in future videos as well and i will let you know how baby gets on with it as i say i've got a kit for arthur as a box just over there um which I will go through with him soon and to film a video there. So yeah, stay tuned if you're interested in that side of it. But yeah, I will leave the links um, to this and anything else below and to the Love Every website. You can have a look. They've got some really, really lovely things on there. So yeah, so I will stop talking. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like I say, if you are pregnant, then I hope it's going really well for you. And I will be sure to film a third trimester update obviously hopefully before the baby comes will probably be best because when the baby comes who knows how much i'll be able to film um but i'll try my best so yes yeah, stay tuned thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye everyone